What is your process to pre-scout your opponent? Well, as a, as a coaching staff, you, you want to gather the relevant information, right? So uh, you're going to look through uh, your opponents and you want to get a good sense of, of their tendencies in certain situations. And I think the, the, the basic ones that you want to always have an idea of would be starting in their defensive zone. So you're looking at their defensive zone coverage, their system there. How do they like to break out? Right? Are they trying to stretch the zone and, and, and fly forwards? Are they playing close support? Uh, what is their tendency and style there? And, and how does that lead to their entries into the offensive zone? So are they looking to uh, lean towards forechecking and dumping the puck? Or are they a team that wants to be a little more skilled and creative and put an emphasis on possessing the puck on their entry? Then you look at their offensive zone play. You know, are they activating their defensemen? Are they, are they low to high point shots? They like to you know, really play low and heavy down, down in the corners. You know, what, what can you expect from their offensive zone play? And then sort of full circle back towards uh, you know, their end is, is how do they defend rushes? So when we eventually get the puck and we attack, you know, how are, do they have a, a consistent structure or system to defend a rush? And are there D really aggressive and forcing lines or are they kind of playing inside the dots and waiting for their back pressure to come you know you want to get a sense of, of all these things and then then you're looking at face-offs is do they have a consistent plan win or loss on every dot uh, and then of course special teams right so on their power play what are they doing if they win the face-off what is their breakout plan what is their entry plan and what do they do when they're set up are they are do they have two units running different systems do they have, uh, you know, are they all running the same thing? Who are their key players? Those sorts of things. And then similar on the penalty kill, if they win the draw, what is their plan to, to get a clear and exit the zone? Are they bringing pressure on the four check? Are they going to back off? And then in zone, what is their, their plan uh, when, when you have possession? So that gives you, kind of paints a picture of what they do structurally. Uh, but then ultimately you want to see where their strengths are. So you want to have an idea of where are they creating offense? How are they getting their opportunities? And then where are they giving up opportunities? Right, so once you have all of this uh, information at hand, as a coaching staff, you can start to establish like what are those big rocks? Because you don't want to give all this information to your players, but it's helpful to have it as a coaching staff, right? So you have to identify what are the things that are going to really have an impact on the game. And then the decision making is what do we share with our team? How do we share it? and what really matters to give our guys the tools to be successful on game day. And I think one really useful tool a coaching staff can use is called a pre-mortem. So you can ask yourself as a staff, let's fast forward to the end of the game. If we lose, what were the most likely reasons we lost the game? And you just engage in this conversation and see what comes up. And then you flip it. If we won, what were the most likely reasons we won the game? And going through that conversation, I think, is a great way to reveal what some of those big rocks, those things that are really important. Because I think it's easy to get bogged down on the minutia of, hey, they've got this one offensive zone play. We've really got, we're going to spend 20 minutes working on it. But in reality, they're going to get 15 offensive zone face-offs. If they're really good on face-offs, they might win eight or nine of those face-offs. How many times are they going to run? Is that going to be a clean win? Maybe four or five. And then how many times do they run that play? You know, maybe two or three. So you're going to, how much time are you going to spend for something that's going to happen two or three times in a game? These are the decisions you have to make uh, when preparing to play.